Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm filming this one uh, from my home in the living room. I really wanted to provide you sort of a little bit of a, a detailed explanation on how to set up your MyFitnessPal if we have yet to do so together. The first thing, obviously you need to set up an account, but when you're done with setting up an account, in order for us to communicate as a team, I'll need you to go down to where it says friends. Okay, and once you go to friends, it will. Uh, you go to this plus sign here, and then if you can, right there, press um, press. Sorry, no, this one email. Okay, and then that's where you would put my email, which is u two fitness at hotmail .com, and then you press just put your first um, full name. You don't need to put in a message, and then you press that tick button right there. So that will enable us to be friends. The next step that we will need you to do is we'll need you to go to what's called um, your settings. So once you get to your settings, then we need you to go to diary settings. So you press that little button there and then you're going to go to what's called diary sharing. So you press that button there and then always put private because, sorry, always put um friends only. I'm on private now, but if I put friends only, that means everybody will who's on my friends list will be able to see what I'm doing. Um, obviously, I'll probably only be the one who will be your friend. And then you press the tick button right there. So then the next thing that we, we need you to do, sorry if there's movement around as well, is go to your profile section in the same place of the settings. You could press that button and then when it goes down to the units, I want you to go all the way down to the units, okay, and then make sure that you've put it in kilograms. Obviously, we're here in Australia, so um, if you want to work in pounds, if you're in the United States or um, other parts of the world, we can do that, um, but set it up to what feels most comfortable for you. Uh, I have decided to work with everybody on calories just because it's a little bit crisper and clean, um, so there's less conversion. So make sure that that's all set up majorly that it's on the calories. If you're in, in Australia, we really want to be working on the kilograms and the centimetres. If you're in America, then it's the pounds, um, and the feet and miles. So make sure that that's all set up for you. Then we're going to go back and then you fill out your profile. So a few other bits and pieces that are really important is now going to the goals section. So you press that little button where it says goals and then you put your starting weight what your current weight is and what your goal weight is. Now, depending on the communication that you and I have, we'll set this up to change when basically to set it up for your goals. Right now, I've had it on point two. This is obviously something that I was working on in the past. Now, when it comes to activity level, it is important that you put down what your occupation is. So if you're a sedentary occupation where you're sitting down most of the time, then I would put not very active. Right now, I'm obviously doing more online virtual coaching, so I'm not as active. Usually, I'd put active or very active on my job, but because there's a mixture of online and also in, you know, outdoors, I've put that for now. Um, so once you've done that part there and you've filled out that section of your goals, go to where it says calories, carbs, proteins and fats, press that. According to what we will create for your goals, this part will need to be changed as well. So it, for example, if you want to change the percentages, you can easily scroll down right now. This is what I'm doing. Okay, this is, I obviously might be changing it soon, but that's what I'm doing. And then you'd press the tick, okay? Then we go back. And once that's all sorted, make sure that you do not, uh, when, the, when the computer asks you, or sorry, the app asks you to update your weight, be sure to leave it, okay? Because once you update your weight, all this will go back to the preset, which is roughly 50, 20, 30, I believe. Just be sure to communicate with me before doing anything like that. Now, the next thing, so sorry if it keeps moving, the next thing that we're going to talk about is your diary 
basically your diary recording. So what you would do is you'd go here and you would enter in what you were recording if it was your food or your exercise. When you go to the food, you can choose between breakfast, lunch and dinner. Okay. So obviously these, this has saved a history of the things that I've had for breakfast um, over the years. Okay. All different bits and pieces or my most recent um, so just for example, let's say that I had this carob buckwheat crisp bread, I'd press the select, the tick button right there, and then it's added it in, okay? So what we want to look at, the, the most important thing is this area here where it says remaining, okay? Once you've put the food in, you tick into that remaining aspect, and always make sure that you go to the nutrient section. That's your little cheat sheet. That tells you how much protein you've had and how much you've got left. How many carbs, 14, and how many you've got left. Fats, 7, 53 left. The three main players that we're going to look at are your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. That's just to start with. And then as we continue to fine-tune and develop more skills and confidence, we can start taking a peek at little bits and pieces. For example, your sugars, your fibers, your cholesterol, your sodium, which is a really important one too. Okay. Um, another really important thing is you might not know or have the barcode of the food that you're eating. So therefore, the power of guesstimation is critical. So type in selected foods, what you might be consuming, and choose what comes closest to it. We don't want to spend too long trying to be perfect because perfect, it's not possible, but guesstimation, the power of guesstimating is what we will need to use. So you might have gone to a barbecue and had barbecue chicken and pork. So you could type in barbecue chicken and pork and whatever comes closest to it, that's what you would choose. The next thing that we would add in is your exercise, okay? Exercise is crucial. Now, a lot of times people will ask me, well, you know, I'm trying to add in um, my weight training, but it's not allowing me to put a calorie burn. That's correct. The only one that allows you to do a calorie burn is the cardio. So sometimes you might need to go in and create your own exercise right here down the bottom. You press create your own exercise. You can say home workout with weights, how long you did, and then the calories burned. So that you'll store under cardio, but it will actually be a weight training session. So for example, for me, I've got strength work here. For 30 minutes, I burnt 98. Um, these are just from the past. Uh, I've got even, uh, even cleaning, heavy, vigorous, uh, low bar squats, things like that. For example, when I did it, I did 45 minutes, 50 calories, that might have been a mistake there. I'm not sure that some of this data might be old, but I'm hoping you get a feel for what I'm talking about. We'll keep it for there for now, okay? But any each individual question that you might have, this is where we will contact via, obviously, the Skype, the Zoom, WhatsApp, uh, FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, or via email. Communication is of the utmost importance right now. I really hope that this uh, video gave you some